After the rescue mission is complete, the investigation will begin into what led Champlain Tower South to crumble to the ground. Without question that there's something seriously wrong here. And it's going to be some things, certainly not singular. Ben Messerschmidt with Epic Forensics and Engineering investigates failures like building system malfunctions, structural defects and corrosion, and wind and water damage. Buildings don't fall down. Thankfully, buildings don't fall down. So um, it's going to be a lot, a lot of unique scenarios that have come into play on one property, almost a perfect storm. Messer Schmidt says the forensic engineers who will determine how this happened will first look at every document about the structure over the last 40 years. Scrutinizing the overall design, see what was known just right before. Uh, you're going to be thinking about what certain cracks look like. The crack patterns are going to be very telling. I mean, certain crack patterns are just surficial in nature, meaning that it's nothing to really worry about. It's just more, more aesthetic, whereas other ones are going to be a very telling sign that you have um, some structural capacity loss and what um, and what severity of that. He says they have several variables to consider, like the integrity of the garage, procedures of the roofer, the construction of the building next door, the water table, even video of the actual collapse. How things fail and what is the first domino, if you will, um, to simplify it, that's very crucial. Uh, I think that's also going to be like one of the main points of what these forensic engineers are going to be looking at. Because whichever column that may have been, or columns that were the first one to go, they're going to be looking at, well, why was that potentially overstressed? What was unique about that column visually? Was there anything? And Messer, Messer Schmidt says that while we may not know the answer for months, even up to a year, he says that the documents over the last 40 years will at least give these investigators a head start. For now reporting live, I'm Gianna Caserta, WPBF 25 News.